Hey everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorials. Today I'm going to be doing this fun look that you see right here. So a couple weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, I have no time management. I went to Ulta because they had a master class taught by some Urban Decay makeup artists. So I was like, perfect, this is my time to learn some things about makeup because you know, we're doing it one day at a time, figuring out one step at a time. Urban Decay was one of the first non-drugstore brands that I ever bought from. And the thing that I thought was so cool about it was in their marketing, it's like punk rock, but like pretty punk rock. You know? I don't know, that's kind of what drew me in. Fun facts about me. I went there and they were like, oh yeah, get this $75 gift card and then you can use it the day of. So really they were like, hey, this is costs $75 and you're gonna pay $75 for it. And I was like, that's fine. I think that'll be worth it. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect. I brought my pad and paper and then I left it in the car because I'm a dummy. But I tried to take it all in. What we were doing was like we would do our makeup or like they would take over and do our makeup. I feel like they took over more than I did my own makeup. What was cool was they were like, if you spend this amount of money, you get one bag and two samples in it. But if you spend this amount of money, you get two bags and all together it's five samples. And I was like, well, you know I'm going to spend all that money. And so plus the $75 I spent, I, I have the receipt right here, $110.94. So that was a good day for my bank account. Let me show you the bags. They're pretty cool. One of the bags, I still have the tag on it, looks like this. It has the UD logo on it with some lips and some eyes and it's neon and it's super cool. And then the other one is black, white, and purple and it also is really cute. These are both super cool to keep your makeup in. When you walked in, they had this sheet and it looked like this. And it says, wants, needs, and must have. So it had all the different sections of the makeup that they had. The guy who was writing it had neater handwriting than me. It's fine. Before you forget to do it at the end, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and like this video. Let's get started in three, two, one. Hashtag fresh face. So today we're gonna start by using the first Urban Decay product, which is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Priming Spray. I've actually been using this and the guy that was talking to me at this masterclass was saying something about how it takes all your dry skin and all your oily skin and it just, I guess, like blends it together so that you'll have regular skin. I can't remember exactly, but I'm gonna read it to you so that it makes more sense. <laughs> Give your skin a quick hit of vitamins uh, and a calm multitude of sins. This smoothing spray preps, primes, and balances the complexion. That's what I meant. As it evens out the skin tone, absorbs oil, and reduces shine. And it's for all skin types, and it's oil and paraben free. It's so hot outside, so the mist feels really good. I'm just pretending it's like water. Plus, I need as many vitamins as I can get. Next, I'm going to use the Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid. So, the color that I have is pink, and they said I was like a a unicorn because I had the pink color, which I'm not sure if that's actually a good or a bad thing, but I'm really glad I get to use pink. And it says, brighten dark circles with this pink color corrector and look wide awake, even when you're running on empty. And they said, all you need to do is put a little bit like on the inner corner. I'm just gonna blend that in with my wet beauty blender. Okay, I think I already look more awake. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation and I totally forgot my Urban Decay complexion primer that I always put on my nose. Next I'm gonna put on my foundation. Now I didn't buy the Urban Decay foundation because money was skim, but I can tell you what color I would be if your color is similar to mine. On my wants, needs, and must-haves paper, I was a 2.5 all night. So if your uh, color is similar to mine, then that's what color you would be for foundation. But I'm just gonna go in with the drugstore L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow uh, Foundation. Just bounce that on the face. 
Next, I'm gonna put on my eyeshadow, but before I do that, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. What's funny is that I actually ended up buying that, but with the two bags of the samples that they gave us, uh, I had a mini uh, one. So I'm probably gonna be using this primer for like the next year and a half. The cool thing about this is that it comes with an applicator that you can put on your eye. So normally I would have to like pat it down with my fingers or maybe I was supposed to use a brush, but I use my fingers. But this, I can just do it with the applicator. Okay, and this feels smooth. It doesn't really feel like tacky or anything. Before I put the eyeshadow on, I realized I want to do some eyebrows. I bought their uh, eye pencil for it because um, I told the girl that I wasn't great at doing eyebrows and she made my eyebrows look so good. I was like, I want to know how to do the Instagram brows. <laughs> I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade, but she said that this would be better for my brows. I'm basically the easiest sale that there is. Like you do not have to convince me whatsoever. I bought the pencil and I got it in the color warm brown. So I'm gonna try to do this on camera, but my mirror is probably gonna be in the right flick of the wrist. Maybe I'll go in with some concealer. And I'm just going in with shape tape because, once again, your girl is not made of money. Maybe this will also hide the fact that I need to wax my eyebrows. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I think she put some brow gel in my eyebrows. And so I, the closest thing I have to that is my gel mascara from Essence, the Make Me Brow. This color is darker than this color. Whoops. Okay, not exactly even, but the best I can do. Now, I know we already put the primer on our eyes, um, but I know that concealer is also good as primer. So it's like a double primer for the eyes right now. I'm going to be using the Beach Palette for my eyeshadow today to recreate the look that I did a couple weeks ago. And the cool thing about the Beach Palette, it opens like this, which I think is really cool, and then it has a mirror on this side, which is a little awkward, but better than no mirror, because I think I'm gonna be using that today anyway. And I'm just gonna do a couple of swatches so you can see all of the colors. So here are the eight colors, and we're gonna start from the top to the bottom. So it goes Salt, Blaze, Heat Wave, Daybreak, 16th Street, Double Dip, Plunge, and Wedge. So it's full of lots of shimmers. I didn't bring any other eyeshadow with me, so I had to use my bronzer as my transition color, because what you want to do with your transition color is start with a matte color. <laughs> what I'm going to have to do is go in with my Too Faced bronzer as my transition color, because there is no shine or shimmer to that. I'm lightly going over the crease with this brown color. Next, I went in with salt as my eyebrow highlight. Next, I went in with Heat Wave as the shimmer on the crease. Then to get the perfect blend, I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer and probably do this about 20 times, going between the bronzer and the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with the deeper color blue, Plunge, and put it on the, the outer corner of my eye. Now, something that I learned at this masterclass is you want to dab it so it gets the most amount of pigment, and then go out from there. So I start off by making the round shape, and sometimes I keep it, but today I'm gonna to take my makeup remover and make it a straight line. And when I did this master class, I told her that I was using the darker blue color, but I'm pretty sure she kept taking the lighter blue color. So what we're gonna do is go over it with double dip, the lighter color, and just brighten it up. Now we're gonna cut the crease. Now I'm gonna pat that down with Blaze. Okay, now I'm gonna put my finger inside the makeup remover and just make this a straight line. When doing that hack, you should probably put your eyeliner on first. Another one of the free samples was the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. 
as a nice little, little tip. Go on your waterline. And then they said to go under the waterline just a little bit. And you can smudge it with your finger. You know, to give it that sexy look. And then I'm gonna go in with another one of the 24-7 Glide-On eye pencils in Woodstock. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner, put that much in. I don't, I'm not good at measurements. And I didn't do it in my waterline. This one I'm not smudging when I'm, when I'm quote unquote smudging and I'm really just dabbing it because this one I don't wanna lose the pigment on too much. Okay, then I'm gonna use what's left on my makeup brush of the blue and just go under and fill that in. And then I'm just gonna take this clean brush and kind of blend that out, clean this up a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Chemtrail. That sounds safe. Then to incorporate the pink back into it, I'm gonna use the Heavy Metal uh, Glitter Eyeliner in Cat Call. I'm putting that slightly underneath. And for the inner corner, I'm just gonna go in with salt. And then the next thing that would have been great in this video is to have the Sin Afterglow Highlight Palette, but I just did not have $39 in my pocket after spending all that I had already spent. So I'm just gonna go in with my regular uh, cheek bronzing products. But I have a new highlighter product that I'm gonna show you, so I'll come back when I get to that. And I forgot, I'm going to be using the Troublemaker Mascara. And this is just one of the samples that I got. So it's really tiny. And the eyes are finished. So I decided to go in with some Ofra Blush in Blush Melon. But this is looking a little bit drag on me. The color is very pretty, but I think with all that's going on in the eyes, I'm gonna take it off and redo that and maybe just have bronzer, because like I said earlier, I did not bring any other makeup with me. Now that I'm back to being a bronze goddess, I'm gonna go in with the Iconic London Illuminator. Now, I got this as like a freebie. It was basically like, you get this for free if you pay for shipping. So I'm hoping that this isn't a dupe and it's the real thing, but I'm just gonna put some dots. And I'm just gonna assume you beat it in with the Beauty Blender. Ooh, ah. I'm gonna get hair stamps with my hair being in. Lastly, we're gonna go in with my favorite thing to do, which is lips. I bought the Lip Liner 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil, and I bought it in the color Venom, and then they gave me a free lipstick in the samples but it's a dark red and this color is like a dark pink. So I don't think they're gonna blend together. You guys know that I love liquid to matte lipstick, but they don't sell that. They just have regular lipstick, so. And I always make it like a grandpa face when <laughs> I'm putting my lipstick on, or lip liner on. I'd be like, ah. So what you wanna do, so I have my lips lined and then you just kind of like shade it in a little bit, like especially on the corners. Okay, now I'm gonna go over top of that with the lipstick. I'm gonna find it really fast. Found it, and it's called Bad Blood. And I just went over all of my lip liner with this lipstick. So that was a huge waste of time, but here we are. I don't know how I feel about this red with this blue. And then to close this all up, I'm gonna put some setting spray on. Now they gave me a little sample of the long lasting makeup spray, blah, blah, blah. The all nighter, but I already have the de slick one. So I'm just gonna use that. This is the final look. As you can see, I changed the lip color up because I didn't really like the red as much. These were some of the things that Urban Decay taught me on the masterclass that I was able to use in this video, which is mostly to uh, just buy their products. But I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you wanna see more videos, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this on your social media. If you wanna go to my social media, you can find me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, last but not least, my Hot Mess Express tip of the day. Samples are life. If you can get samples of something, take it. Take all the free shit, because literally, that sample could last you for so long. Okay, bye guys. Mwah.